replacement, one of the great performers of the year, the NFL's most valuable player, the planned moving pocket, the quick pass in the Super Bowl game to Charlie Brown, touchdown, and Theismann, of course, one of the game's heroes. And he will be buttressed, Theismann will, on the ground by Tony Dorsett of the Cowboys. Remember this run in the wind-up game of the NFL Monday night season. 99 yards, touchdown. The extraordinary balance that you're looking at now as he stayed in bounds. The NFC against the AFC. Second down and seven as they mark it just short of midfield. Theismann back once again, trying to get a screen off, and he does. Dorsett, big opening for Dorsett. He's down the sidelines, and will pick up the first down inside the 35-yard line of the AFC. Jack Lambert takes Dorsett. Faded right, looked right, and then went back. He is an expert at that, did it in the Super Bowl game, and did it in the NFC Championship game. They did it throughout the year, and quickly it was a good setup by the offensive line. They let the AFC defense come in. Dorsett timed it out perfectly. Second down, seven. Theismann looking, dying, and it's complete. And it goes down to James Lofton. He goes high in the air, and with great athletic ability, comes down with the ball for the first down inside the 15. Second Gary down, 13, following the loss. Theismann, a dangerous man in the rollout. Down the sideline, steps out of bounds inside the 10-yard line, short of the first down by about five yards. It'll be third down and five. So Theismann, drafted as he was by the Miami Dolphins. You want to see a man open? Look at James Lofton, number 80. All alone. But, of course, Joe had other ideas and different pursuers at the moment. He was busy back there. I started to say he was a fourth-round draft pick in 71 was Theismann of Miami. George Allen got him back with a first-round draft pick as Joe came back in 1976 to the Redskins, and it was all culminated with the Super Bowl victory a week ago. Theismann on third and six, tries to get it into the end zone, and no, nope, they're saying it is ruled incomplete, and it, we will see the field goal unit, and Howard, when you trot out Mark Mosley, you're trotting out the finest. Some considered him the player of the year. They had three, the Redskins did, as you know. Theismann, Mosley, Riggins. John not here. We'll talk about that in a moment. 20 of 21 on the season. Of course, he set an NFL record. 23 consecutive field goals. Larry McCarron will do the snapping. Theismann will put it down. It's on its way. And off to the right. And Mark Mosley misses the short chip shot. Mark Mosley had a unique football career. He played quarterback at Texas A&M and Stephen F. Austin State University before switching to kicker for his senior season. He was drafted by the Eagles in the 14th round in 1970, scored 67 points for them, but was placed on waivers and signed by the Oilers as a free agent. He was released by the Oilers in 1973, sat out the season, and signed with the Redskins in 1974, for whom he kicked through part of the 1986 season. He wore five socks underneath his kicking shoe. I guess he thought that helped him somehow. First and ten, the AFC, directed by Dan Fouts at this point. First and ten from their own 20-yard line. Fouts over the middle on is complete. It goes to the big wide receiver. It was Kellen Winslow, who can play both tight end and wide receiver, and very effective against the 4-3. He could be quite a force. As a matter of fact, he was the most valuable player a year ago. He and Leroy AFC. Selman shared the honor, if you'll recollect. On the offense, Winslow with eight receptions a year ago, 86 yards. 33-yard line, first down and 10. Quick count by Fouts. Freeman McNeil of the Jets. Sprints to the outside, steps out of bounds. Dan Fouts, as I mentioned earlier, nine-game season, almost 3,000 yards, 17 touchdowns on the year. The average offensively over 325 yards. He's back on third and long, and he finds Wes Chandler. And falling down on the coverage was Mark Haynes, and Chandler gets the first down inside the 40-yard line of the NFC. Russ Chandler, who had a brilliant year, 49 receptions. He has that great speed and such maneuverability hard. Now, he works right here against Haynes of the Giants. And watch Haynes slip, lose his balance. 
By the way, this is artificial turf. If you wonder why artificial turf in this climate, the number of, event, of events held here each year. Jack Muncy on the right side, tries to stay in bounds, and he does so until he gets inside the 35 to the 33-yard line, taken out of bounds by Tony Peters. And he'll get about five yards on that pickup. Chuck was the MVP in this game in 1980 when with the Saints. Hey, we have eight running backs in the allotment, four for each team. And of those eight running backs, four are Heisman Award winners. Second down and five. Ball marked at the 34-yard line. Short roll, going deep, and it's Wesley Walker in the end zone. And the great speech through the Jets of the University of California flew by the defender. I think once again it was Haynes. 34-yard touchdown pass right on target. Good protection once again. The NFC under rules cannot blitz. He rolls quickly to the left. And Walker just turning on the great speed. Cromwell tried to get back there. 7 0 with 9 13 remaining in the first quarter. 34 yard touchdown pass on a third and four from Dan Fouts to Wesley Walker. Bobby, you grew up in Shelby, North Carolina. Did you ever dream that you'd be in the National Football League Hall of Fame? No, fan. I, I guarantee you, I never dreamed this it came true. It's just so uh, great, you know, that you. this is the icing on the cake for me. Uh, you dream about stuff like this, but you never dream that it happened to you. And uh, this is the. Uh, the highlight of my career, going to the Hall of Fame. That's great. All right, get back up to you. No question, he belongs right there. Great linebacker of the Kansas City Chiefs, Bobby Bell, from the eight-yard line. Five minutes, and this will be a safety. Two-point loss, Art. Still, the Kansas City Chiefs pressuring over Pat Donovan. And he gets to Theismann in the end zone. Two points for the AFC. That's good timing. Still, as you see him burst, you'll see him busting in there now. Tall kid, so tall, Bedlin 6'6", but a chief scoring the safety just as Fran talks to a chief in the Hall of Fame. Here it is, the reverse angle. That's Smurless moving to the inside, and from the outside, Art still 6'7", 252 pounders, so quick. Does it all for that defensive unit of the Kansas City Chiefs. First and 10 AFC, Dan Fouts. From his 38-yard line, play action, looking for Chandler. He has him over the middle. Chandler with a good move on Everson Walls, throws him in his tracks, and gets the first down close to the 35-yard line of the NFC. That second time he's hit Chandler, has an ISO on Wes. This is exactly why, in the opening of the show, we said Fouts would be passing again and again, and most frequently to Chandler, as he does during the course of the regular season. We're bringing a fifth defensive back now, and out comes linebacker Harry Carson. Ronnie Lott comes in to assist Mark Haynes, Tony Peters, Nolan Cromwell, and Everson Walls on what will be the sure pass for Dan Fouts. It's for Collingsworth and comes underneath and gets the ball to Marcus Allen. Ball comes loose, and they're saying it was a reception and an NFC recovery. Marcus Allen hammered hard as he came across the line of scrimmage. Dan Fouts looking deep for Collingsworth. Collingsworth picked up. We'll watch it again. Yeah, I'd uh, like to see how they call this a reception, but that's all. Allen has Allen, possession. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And a good hit coming across the middle. Jars the ball loose, and the NFC has the football at the 27-yard line. The NFC following the recovery. Ronnie Lott's hit on Marcus Allen, jarring the ball loose, and the recovery at the 27-yard line. The NFC comes up. Theismann remains the quarterback. William Andrews, 31, of Atlanta. Billy Sims of Detroit, number 20. Those are your setbacks, and this is Sims. Sims with a fine cutback, and he's out of the 35, close to the 36-yard line. Second and two, Andrews. Tries the right side. Scramble for the football as it's jarred loose from William Andrews. AFC says they have it. Waiting to see if the whistle had been blown dead. No formal indication by referee Fred Silva. And on the bottom of the pile is Gary Johnson, and we have another turnover. First down and 10. From the 37-yard line of the NFC, and here comes Freeman McNeil. He finds an opening inside the 35. 
Outs uses the waist down to Collinsworth, and he has the first down close to the 17-yard line. NFL fans are probably most familiar with Chris Collinsworth as a game color commentator, but he made the Pro Bowl his first three years in the league and made second team All Pro each year. A second and one, Walls playing him well, good timing, perfect timing, but the loss is back close to the 19 yard line where it'll be second down and 12. And McNeil this time is buried. Good defensive play by Leroy Selma, the defensive MVP and the heart of the Tampa Bay's number one defense of the NFC. Leroy Selman was the 1979 Defensive Player of the Year, a member of the Hall of Fame All-1980s team, and of course a Hall of Famer. In short, he put the Buccaneers on the map. Anticipation, remember, Bernerska is the place kicker for the AFC. The holder will be Prestwich. Chandler, Walker, wide receivers, tight end, Kellen Winslow, bounces back. And it goes to Winslow. He'll be short of the first down at the 15-yard line, and we will see Ralph Benerska, Ronnie Lotz, to 51 yards, playing in his first Pro Bowl. Trots onto the field, lines it up. 33-yard attempt. Blocked. As blocked, I believe it was Taylor who got his hands on it. That ball is alive. This is the other giant, Mark Haynes. Lawrence Taylor got the block, and Mark Haynes came up with the football. And Dwight Park goes out to the left. James Lofton up at the top of your screen, the speedy wide receiver from Green Bay. The setbacks, Andrews 31, Sims 20, and Theismann is back. Steps out of harm's way for a moment, but now in deep trouble and gets it out to Andrews. Theismann, the athlete that he is. You saw him take it away in the Super Bowl from Bo Camper. Might have been the play of the game. And again, with athletic ability, Theismann is able to turn a loss into a game. Watch it again. He gets in all kinds of trouble. He's a magician on this play. Gets right away from there. Baumauer. And there again, Ben Williams. And there again. And Baumauer again, and he gets it out to Freeman, or rather, William Andrews. You see that sidewise flip of his? it into a third and six situation for Theismann at the 39. Theismann back again in trouble. Ben Williams pursuing. Theismann fires and Billy Sims cannot control the football for the first down. 23 seconds remaining now in the first quarter and the AFC on top. Nine to nothing. They had a safety. Sack of Theismann in the end zone. They had a 34-yard touchdown pass. Dan Fouts to Wesley Walker. The big man in there is William Andrews, 31. Tony Dorsett is there with him. Andrews right side, and he powers to the first down, running right through the arms of Randy Gratishar. First down and 10, the NFC, inside their own 33-yard line. They trail 9 to nothing as we begin the second quarter. Theismann trying to go deep, and it's incomplete, intended for John Jefferson. He ran a little hook and go, but now a flag is down, and... Complaining back there that he was not involved is Gary Green, the cornerback from Kansas City. Gary Barbaro was back there from his free safety spot. Let's take a look at it. Jefferson will take it down. All right. Has Gary turned to the outside. Well, I don't get that call. Two tight ends, Jimmy Giles and Paul Kaufman. Now in the lineup. Andrews slashing over the left side, and Andrews into the end zone. As you can see, the big edge is in yards rushing for the AFC. But as I pointed out, AFC mistakes enabled the NFC to strike back, narrow the margin to two points. William Andrews having scored for the NFC. And Kenny Anderson of the Cincinnati Bengals, the top-rated NFL quarterback of this past season, is now the quarterback for the AFC. And off on his very first play to Marcus Allen, who finds an opening over the left side, gets out close to the 34-yard line. How is it that Ken Anderson is not in the Hall of Fame? Four times he led the league in passer rating, three times in completion percentage, two times in passing yards. He was the NFL MVP in 1981. He was a four-time Pro Bowl player and threw 37 more touchdowns than interceptions 
which may not seem like much in the past 30 years, but during the decade of the 1970s through the early 80s, that is an impressive fact. He was also a good runner as he ran for 2,220 yards, 20 touchdowns, and an awesome 5.6 yards per carry. Put him in already. $5,000 difference between the winner and the loser of this game. On third and three, quick snap, Kenny Anderson fires it over the middle and gets the ball to Dan Ross, who one of his yeah, might fine have expected teammates. That. What a team they've become. Dan Ross out of Little Northeastern, but now a recognized, even heralded tight end. Anderson, the practically perfect quarterback. Ross, the first down at the 43-yard line. Slight roll to the right, fires it out, it's complete to John Stallworth of Pittsburgh Steelers. Two fine receivers in the backfield, Marcus Allen and Chuck Muncie. The wide receivers are Stallworth and Walker. Anderson, he finds Stallworth. Stallworth has the first down. Danny had the greatest year I've ever seen a quarterback had this year. Congratulations. Thank you, Fran. we got a fine football team and a great coach to play for. You haven't done bad today either. Well, we're having fun. Uh, this is a great game. This is as fine a group of players as I've seen put together. Are you discouraged after being so close three times and still haven't gotten there yet? Well, it's four times, and yes, I am, but I'm not uh, totally discouraged. I think we got a fine team and capable of winning it all. I, I agree with you. Back up to you, Gip. All right, Anderson quickly went out to Andre Franklin, and Franklin got a yard at the NFC. 32-yard line, second down and eight. Anderson back. Finds the open receiver. It's Wesley Walker, and he'll have the first down around the 22-yard line. Taking nothing away from Dan Fouts, there's something about the way Kenny Anderson plays. I remember Hank Scram, as a matter of fact, told his own former boss, Andy Gustafson, at one point about a kid he had seen at Augustana. Wanted to get him to the University of Miami in Florida. Didn't happen. Kenny Anderson, great athlete. He will hurt you at the run if he has to. He's 5 of 5, having come in here in the second quarter. First down and 10. He looks over the defense. Fires one incomplete. And it was Stallworth who held on to the football. Good concentration in and out of the arms of the defender and gets additional yardage to the 15. That was close to being picked off, but it wasn't. Those short sideline passes. So popular in the game now. Do you realize that in the Washington Miami Super Bowl game Frank apart only from that first pass to Cephalo for the long Miami strike there wasn't a completed pass of more than 10 yards in the game the whole nature of the offensive game has changed Stallworth got seven is second down and three Anderson back again looks over the middle and a great diving reception again by John Stallworth Allen must see the setbacks is Muncy and Muncy stutter steps look for an opening doesn't find much it'll be fourth down and we will have the field goal unit coming out and Benesco will try one from 28 yards <laughs> and this time Benesco misses Mark Mosley had missed earlier from 27 Dick was blocked Begins tonight on first down and 15. Danny White overthrows intended for Charlie Brown. Incomplete. It'll be second down and 15. And another fellow named Haynes is very upset that he didn't pick it off. Mike Haynes of the Pats, number 40. The ball overthrown went, went th right through Mike's fingers. Third down and 15. Penalty decline. White back. Looking for Jefferson, and Jefferson makes one of those patented John Jefferson leaping catch for the first down at the 34-yard line. And let's take a look at him. He is a great receiver, either underneath, tremendous concentration. That's Lester Hayes right up on top of him. As he turns him over to the free safety, that would be Barbaro or Easley. And down comes Jefferson with the football for the first down at the 34-yard line. Reverse, Dorsett hands off to Charlie Brown of the Redskins, and there's a picket line in front. 
Charlie Brown out of bounds by two. Nine to seven here in the second quarter. White. Dorsett. And Dorsett close to another first down. And we're going to Fran Tarkenton, who is with one of the all-time greats, the new Hall of Famer, Sonny Jurgensen. You're right about that, Jeff. Jerky, in all those years, you didn't get to play in the Super Bowl. You were injured the one time Washington got there. Your feelings this year with the Redskins winning? Well, I was very happy for the whole team, the organization. And, uh, yes, probably the biggest disappointment I ever had as a player, and I guess being selected to be inducted into the Pro Professional Football Hall of Fame kind of makes up for all those disappointments. It does. I've heard other people say that, but you really feel it does? Yes, I do. It makes up for everything, all the frustrations that I had. Good. Up to you, Jeff, for this one. 32,000 yards throwing it, 255 touchdown, Sonny Jurgensen. Second down and a yard for Danny White. Hands inside to Tony Dorsett, finds a little opening, gets the first down. White throws into a crowd. Dorsett was open, but White chose Paul Kaufman, who had his own man, plus the free safety, Gary Barbaro, draped all over him. Theismann, who holds for Mosley during the regular season, will place it down. McCarron of Green Bay will do the snapping. 35-yard attempt. Mosley redeems his miss from 27 yards out earlier, and the NFC has taken the lead. Kenny Anderson, what a year he had. Maybe some of you had an opportunity to watch that Houston game where he had 20 consecutive completions, new NFL record. He was 27 of 31 on that day, 323 yards, a couple of touchdowns, no interceptions. And the wheels came off against the New York Jets. Second down and three. Anderson. Firing deep. And intended for Rusty Walker, the speed sir, but he could not run under it. Third down, long three for Anderson. Looks out to Chris Collinsworth and connects to the first down and the AFC. Anderson. Fires in and out of the hands. It'll be picked off by Walls. In and out of the hands of Muncie and Walls comes down with the football. This is truly one of the great offensive geniuses of all time. Sid, congratulations. Players retire, but you never do. Oh, I can't afford to get tired. But thank you for that nice statement. I, I appreciate it. I, I wish it were true. But What's uh, the difference in the offenses now than they were 20 years ago? Well, this great change that the Rules Committee made of, uh, of not permitting a defensive man to have one, but one jab within a five-yard period. After that, you can't even give him a dirty look. How would you like to be playing with ends like uh, some of these guys like Warfield and uh, <laughs> sit up there and uh, just throw I would a like it. Warfield run. I would like it. Okay, you... Giff, take it away up there. All right, congratulations to Sid Gilman. Movement again, this time no flags. Danny White on third down, 15. Fires, it'll be, well, I started to say it'll be picked off, but Gary Green had it in his sights, had it in his hands, and he could not control it. Rusty Walker left. Anderson. Marcus Allen, good move by Allen. He'll work the sidelines, That's and it. he stops the clock inside the 25. Anderson has to hurry the ball, but he gets it to Stallworth, who holds on. Good concentration is Ronnie Lott, who will really hammer you, puts one on Stallworth. And this will be a 29-yard attempt. Hustage gets it down smoothly. And Banushka splits the uprights. And as time expires in the first half, the AFC reclaims the lead 12 to 10 over the NFC. First down 10, as you saw, Dan Fouts opens his quarterback. Andre Franklin 36, Marcus Allen 32, the pair of setbacks for Fouts. Fouts fires and is complete. Collinsworth down the sideline, stepping out somewhere around the 44 yard line. For an AFC mark to right at the 40 yard line, third down and four. Fouts back once again, and this time it's batted away, going high in the air. Big Ed Jones. Third and 10. Heisman has them all in the pattern. He goes to Andrews. He'll come up short of the first down. However, they turned it over, and the NFC has battled back, and the AFC now has a two-point lead. Third down, four fouts looking. 
<laughs> Fox tried to get it into Walkley once again and hit Mark Haynes right in the hands. He was shocked and did not hold on. It'll be fourth down. And we have Allen. We have Dorsett and Sims, all winners of the Heisman. Andrews over the left side, battling out there close to a first down. He'll get it at the 31-yard line. And we're going to go down with Fran Tarkenton with another NFL Hall of Famer, Bobby Mitchell. Bobby's been a big, big week for you, assistant general manager of the Redskins, and now the Hall of Fame. How do you feel? Feel real good, Fran, with the Super Bowl and now the Hall of Fame. It's just too much. What was your best position, running back or flanker back? Well, I always thought my best position was uh, running back, but of course I love the flanker because it gave me more longevity. Okay, back up to you, Frank. Over 14,000 combined yards, receiving, kickoffs, running. On first and ten, Dorsett is collected by Gary Big Hands Johnson of the San Diego Chargers. Right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss of one. Call a second down on 11 back to Fran and Bobby. Bobby, you played beside Jimmy Brown, and how was that? Well, it made it real easy for you, Fran, because if we got in trouble, we could always give it to the big man. So I was relaxed back then. How <laughs> you like being in the front office as opposed to playing? Well, that's, this is the best part because I don't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you. Congratulations. Back up to you, Frank. What a talented player. Only two other players, Zim Brown, O.J. Simpson, collected more overall yardage than Bobby Mitchell. Second down and 11. Tyson trying to screen. He gets out to Andrews, and there is a big open field in front of William Andrews. Good convoy for Andrews by Larry McCarron of the Packers. Kent Hill of the Rams. First down and 10. Tyson back. Throws it into a crowd and a beautiful shot by Joe Theismann to Lofton. Theismann had to thread that needle between two defenders. He gets it to Lofton who had to concentrate. That is professionalism. Let's take a look at it from the end zone and you'll get an idea what Theismann had to do. He had to get it between two defenders. He had some smoke on that ball. Look at that. He has total confidence in himself now and why not? Now we're looking at Mark Mosley. 48-yard attempt. Theismann will place it down if that's indeed what they plan on doing. It's on its way. It has the distance. But it's off to the right. But he's faced with a third down and 22. Wide open is Winslow. Cullen Winslow. And Fouts will put it on top again. Gets it to Collinsworth. He has the first down at the 30-yard line. Back once again on first down. Bouts. Fires and then it's Bobble and Jared Lewis, and I think the AFC came up with it. They did. It was Andre Franklin who coughed it up, and West Hamler was there. And Allen did not like it up the middle, and he tries to get outside, cuts it back once again, and gets inside the two yard line. Nolan Cromwell on the stop, but Marcus Allen. Left USC with a Heisman Award, a senior year, over 2,300 yards rushing, set 12 NCAA records while he was there. But what he really has is a great head on his shoulders. He has football instincts that just do not, he just come along maybe once in a decade. Let me tell you something. He's like Muhammad <laughs> Ali in his prime. That's what Allen is. He gives you the body and he takes it away. Second down, goal to go. Allen. That's a football player. Touchdown. You can't ever hit him flush. He's got a technique whereby you never hit him flush. Everyone has got to catch that football if you're going to play offensively today. Second down and two. Billy Sims. Big open. He gets the first down. Out close to the 45-yard line. Let's look again. Andrews gets hit hard upfield. Bang, there's the contact. Out comes the ball. It bounces off the helmet of Donnie, Donnie Shell. Shell. Popped right into the arms of Billy Sim. Osmond will place it down. Watch Hendricks, 83. 42 yard effort. This time, Mosley gets it through the uprights. And the NFC draws to within six points. First down and 10. The AFC now on the move. The NFC has to start thinking in terms of getting it back. In the 43-yard line, Freeman McNeil spots an opening, and look at those moves. <laughs> Freeman McNeil, first down at the 45-yard line of the NFC, and for a big man, I've never seen one quite as nifty. He goes three ways at once. This is funny. Just watch. He can cut at top speed. 
Really one, can. 225 Two. pounds is doing this. More to come. Three, finally down. Bouts. Has a lot of time. Picked off in the end zone is Everson Walls, his second interception of the day. Second down, less than a yard to go. Danny White looks it over. Billy Sims cuts back, gets a couple of yards out near the 48-yard line. I think if it were the other way around, they would be going AFC. Billy Sims, good screen, sets up nicely, and Sims for the first down inside the 30 to the 28. Third down and 20. White going for half of it. The ball to Giles, he pops it up, and again, a very opportunistic maneuver on the part of the NFC as they get the ball back. Lofton all over the field here in these closing minutes. Two consecutive holding calls. Fourth down. Could be the final play for the NFC. Lofton is left. Jefferson left at the top of your screen. Danny White. John Jefferson with an absolutely great catch. One timeout remaining for the NFC. White. Jefferson. Touchdown. Eisman gets it down. Mosley gets it through the uprights. 